On Monday, the county will open its a migrant processing facility for migrants who have already have sponsors. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Andy Morgan. Natasha has the day off. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap got a tour of the facility today. She joins us live from East El Paso with our top story at 6. Well, Andy, this is the facility here that the county will be opening up their migrant processing center. They're hoping to open up on Monday. Now, this will be for migrants who have sponsors and money to travel. They will be helping them make those travel arrangements. However, this will not be a shelter. Now, as we reported, this building will cost over $11,000 a month for the lease, and the county has a contract with Provincia Group to run this facility until November of 2024. Now, that contract contract is for over six million dollars. Now this facility is for single adult migrants who have sponsors. The county will be helping them set up their travel plans and contact their sponsors, but they will not be providing any transportation to the airport or to bus stops as this will and this will not act as a shelter. Now County Judge Samaniego saying this was an idea that came from the El Paso Border Patrol chief. This was actually the brainchild of Chief of Chief Chavez who, who realized that why are we dealing with people that have money and why are we having them in shelters and and so we've we've addressed her situation and this is the outcome. Now, as we reported, the city of El Paso has their own welcome center that is in Northeast, where they are currently helping migrants with and without sponsors. The city saying they will continue their operations as they are at this time. Now, this facility here that the county is opening is just for the day. It's going to open at 7 a.m. and it will close at 7 p.m., so it's not going to be a shelter. So we asked the county what's going to happen if the migrants don't get a flight or a bus out the same day. They say that they will help connect them to shelters and they also said that they believe that the majority of these migrants will be able to pay for hotels and be able to pay for their own transportation to where they need to go. Reporting live from East El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.